Om Shri Sai Ram. If you have a talent in singing, dancing, comedy, cooking, and if you want the world to know about it, I think social media is a very good idea. But if you want to prove that you are real top notch in that particular art form, competing in a reality show and winning the title would be the best option. It all appears so wonderful, no? The whole thing is so glamorous. The setting is so exotic. Uh, challenging rounds are there and uh, enthusiastic participants and above all, the people whom we used to admire come and sit in front of our eyes as judges. But is this the reality about a reality show? What else goes on behind the scenes? If you're curious to know, continue watching the video. We had the background of a hundred concerts, many victories, but would that be enough? How much could we stretch ourselves? Did we have the extra time and effort needed for the reality show? Fix your goal so that the path unfolds. So my dear friends, in this particular episode, I'll be sharing with you not the experience of participating in a reality show, but how to get into one itself. That itself is a big step when we go and uh, try to participate in a reality show. The first thing that we have to think is that whether we are eligible. Now talking about this particular competition, it was a music competition, okay? So the school's music team was really a competent one. So this particular group had been singing together for the past four or five years. And this team comprised of young girls who had very good voice uh, texture. Their Shruti was almost synchronizing. And when they sang together, their voices would gel. This is a very important component. We need singers who can shine individually, but at the same time, when they sing together, group coordination or group synchronization is one aspect that will be given a lot of focus when we go for group competitions. The next important component for the success of any uh, music team is the accompanying artists. Both the boys were really versatile in playing their instruments. They had been practicing music for again these four or five years and they had accompanied the same team. Okay, I'm just talking about the eligibility, but I've not mentioned what the competition is. Uh, instead of me telling about it, why not we together watch the trailer of this particular competition. இயற்கையும் இசையும் போல பக்தியும் பஜன் இசையால் இறைவன் அன்பை பெற ஓர் இணையற்ற மேடம் பஜன் சாம்ராஜ் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ற எல்லா டீம்ஸ்க்கும் என்னுடைய மனமார்ந்த வாழ்த்து That was the most inspiring and uh, exciting trailer and uh, we watched this particular trailer but as luck would have it we missed the auditions we got to know about the competition when they were announcing for the auditions happening in Coimbatore and obviously we could not take part in it because we were residing in Chennai so our heart was really very heavy that we missed a golden opportunity to showcase our talent and our prayers were there and needless to say the good news arrived on one day and what is this good news we got the call from the shankara tv office they said that we got to know that you have a very good music team in your school and sri shankara tv is conducting a bhajan samrat competition season one are you interested in taking part just imagine how i would have felt it was like a pleasant surprise 
we were 200 percent ready to take part in the competition so we were moving to the next level and we had to appear for auditions the second round of auditions that were happening in chennai now uh, what were the rules of this particular auditions were there any obstacles uh, that were there in our way and how is it that we overcame all that if you want to know that continue watching for auditions we have to sing for half an hour and uh, this audition was to be held in sri shankara tv uh, head office itself they said that the judges would not be uh, physically interacting with us because it was to happen in a studio uh, nevertheless they'll be judging us so we were all set and uh, with a lot of enthusiasm we set off to go and uh, take part in the auditions we went to the shankara tv office and there was this mic testing that was happening and uh, whatever it is you may have taken part in numerous competitions every competition is like a new exposure so sitting there and doing the mic testing we were keeping our fingers crossed oh god we should perform very well and we sang for half an hour and at the end of it that was the first time we got to interact with the ceo of the channel that is mr suresh kumar uh, he came and gave real positive feedback for us he said the voices were synchronizing and the children sang very soulfully and at the same time the bhajan was very energetic he said nevertheless you have to wait for two more days to find out the results so that was like a silver lining for us that we got such wonderful comments so we came back home but this was just the first step uh, and being a reality show we understood that this competition will be going on for some time it's not like other competitions no wherein we just take part on that particular day and the results are announced that day and that is the end of the event no it's not like that so this has to go on for some more time so we had to get back think seriously as to how we are going to proceed what is going to be our plan of action how we are going to practice all these thoughts were going on in my mind as we came back from the sri shankara tv studio see for example i told you that this team was singing for some 4 or 5 years together now the team lead that is jayalakshmi she had graduated to college she was studying in mcc college now what is this we have to manage the schedule between school students and this girl who is attending college had all of them been in school it would have been very easy for us and again there was another hitch two of the students who were a part of this team were appearing for board exams so it would be really tough for these girls to focus on studies prepare for board exams and at the same time give a lot of emphasis and importance for this practice they have to allocate some time every day uh, be sincere in their practice be punctual and steadfast means you can't give up practice except on sundays all other days they had to dedicate some time these girls could come for practice after 6 means after school they were attending tuitions and from 6 to 8 or the entire team would assemble in school and we would have practice now what is it that we could practice we had no idea about the rounds they said that they would intimate us about the rounds only some days before the event so we sat and uh, we used to do this akara sadakam for half an hour that would be the base because whatever the song if the voice is in uh, good form you can sing any song then we ourselves made our own list thinking that these these songs are very good so we sat and we used to start practicing so the thing is uh, when we start going for this reality show that is when we fall into the groove and we understand the immensity or the responsibility that we have when you come in front of the media it is a great exposure and at the same time a great responsibility you are representing the school the institution so your performance should be up to the mark and at the same time at the individual level at that young age those students had to sacrifice a lot they had to set aside two hours from their schedule for practicing music but it was their passion and they had a lofty aim to achieve so continue watching this series if you're curious to know how every obstacle that came our way we had a plan to overcome them and how through steadfast and sincere practice we can achieve anything if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your family friends and anybody who is pursuing any art because the experience of another person can really be a learning for each of us and finally if you've not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe whatever path you may take don't give up and that is the secret to getting ahead thank you jai sai